Welcome back. In this video, we are going to introduce the concept of ratio and proportions. And then in the following video, we will go ahead and do some sample problems. So, ratio. Ratio, by definition, is simply a quotient of two numbers. It is a fraction. So we can express a ratio as something like the fraction 5 thirds. We can also look at this as 5 colon 3 or the ratio of 5 to 3. So some examples of ratios. Slope is a ratio. Slope is just rise over run. It's the fraction of the change in y over the change in x. Students to teachers, a very common ratio in schools. So we might have 25 students to one teacher or 15 students to one teacher. And of course you can look at a school and find the ratio of boys to girls. And there are many, many other places where we see ratios. Any kind of percentage, especially in sports, basketball has free throw percentage or three point shooting percentage. Baseball is filled with different kinds of ratios from batting average to earn run average to walks and hits per innings pitched. Um, many, many examples of ratios. Even in your lawnmower or snowblower, you may see that the gas and oil mixture uh, 50 to 1. That means 50 ounces of gas to 1 ounce of oil. That's an example of a ratio. Now a proportion is simply an equation, so a proportion has an equal sign, stating two or more ratios are equal. So the ratio 1 half equals 5 tenths, that is a proportion. And you will see that we'll be given three of the four pieces of a proportion and we'll have to solve for the remaining one. In generally in proportions, we'll look at the upper left hand side, we'll call that the first position, the second, the upper right is the third, the lower right would be the fourth. So we have first position, second position, third position, fourth position. So you may see a ratio, or pardon me, a proportion, where we may say 3 over 7 equals how many over 35. Then we'd have to solve for that particular position. And because it's a proportion, we can cross multiply. We can cross multiply the means and the extremes. The means are generally the middle numbers, okay? And the extremes would be the high and the low. So if you look at one half and five tenths, we see one and ten would be the extremes, where two and five would be the means. And we can also see a a proportion 1 is to 2 is 5 is to 10 or A is to B as C is to D. So, and this is the slide where we see that the extremes are the first and fourth position, generally the high and the low, and the means are in the second and third position. And that's, and since we can multiply the means and the extremes, I'll go back to my other example. 3 over 7 equals x over 35. We can kind of see that 3 and 35 are going to be our, our low and our high. They're our extremes. And so x is going to be somewhere in the middle. So we can multiply the means and the extremes. We'd get 7x equals 3 times 35. 7x equals... 105. We could divide both sides by 7 and solve for x. 
and x is 15. So we have solved that particular proportion. So in the next video, I'll do some more sample problems. So we will see you in class.